this big game today. Paris Saint-Germain, this is Manchester United. Paris Saint-Germain, Alan, how about uh, their contribution to this match? What do you expect? I think these supporters are expecting, demanding European football next season and their team is on course to achieve that with the start that they've made. Well, he's looked the manager at what they need in the transfer market and he's decided that a strong central defender is what's required and here he is making his debut. Yeah, uh, they uh, conceded one or two sloppy goals, I thought, last season particularly. And uh, in an effort to stop that, he brings in this player who might just be able to plug some gaps. If we're looking for energy in midfield, which I think the manager is, from what we've been talking to him about, and uh, a new signing today with that in mind, I guess. Yeah, I thought they'd looked a bit short, a bit flat, actually, in midfield previously, and he is a creative player as well. Quite a few changes for Paris Saint-Germain. In goal, Kevin Trapp. Serge Aurier plays with Laivan Kuzawa as the full-backs. Marco Verratti plays with Hamas this is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Marcus Rojo starts with Eric Bailly at the back. Juan Mata starts. He was man of the match in his last game. And they'll play with a sole striker. Paris Saint-Germain, how well they played in their previous game to win away against Inter. Yeah, easy win, 5-2. Probably uh, second for draw, actually, here today. And it is Graham Scott who is the referee. Good forward play from them. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Mata. Eric Bailly. Baratti. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. Blint. Ashley Young, referee says play on, and gives Manchester United the advantage. Antonio Valencia, now Bailly. In quickly, James Rodriguez, Michael Carrick. Attacking now. Shots on here. whether that will change both managers' approach to this game. Felipe confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Well, he is his own harshest critic, this lad, and he'll blame himself for that, I think, having got a touch. So the first goal, it's Eric Bailly. Carrick on the ball. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Here the challenge, it's a good one. Fellaini, attack building for Manchester United. Baratti. James Rodriguez. And the tackle there is successfully done. Michael Carrick. Building steadily here, keeping possession. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. So we'll restart with a throw in. Antonio Valencia, Henrik Mkhitaryan, Fellaini. And now he's looking for some support. A 
and shoots. Here's the chance. Fantastic save. That's a for Manchester United. And a really good start to the game. It's always thrilling when both teams show that they can score in a match. I wonder where we'll go from here. Great goal. Well, one of those goals that looks like has been practiced on the training ground several times. Well, here's the goal again. Uh, level, both sides have scored here now. Here's Dyer, played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. They need to try and get the ball back now. Henrik Mikitarian. Mata. He's coming forward with some danger. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. And pretty easy to cope with by the defending team. Baratti. Nuzovic! Off the post! Henrik Mikitaria. Mata. Baratti. Hamas Rodriguez in quickly. Even with Manchester United involved, there's no great pointers either way in this match. And it will go into the middle now. And it didn't cause too much confusion that cross in the end. Valencia taking possession. Mata. And here's the shot. Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. Managers like players get called up by uh, international set. Free kick conceded by Antonio Valencia. Manchester United man's got a booking for that. Yellow card. A little lapse of discipline. He's got to be careful. Here's Dyer. Could be dangerous. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Rodriguez, it's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Fellaini. It's Daly Blind. Mata. Antonio Valencia. And here comes an attack from Manchester United. Mata! Very good stop here. And he heads it for goal. Well, the goal was gaping. And somehow, with the opportunity to put them into the lead, he's missed the target. Incredible. Well, it's totally embarrassing from his point of view. And now the shot! And there's the goal to put them in front. Well, we thought, Alan, we get a very tight game today. But I have to say, this team playing really, really well. Well, they are playing well, Martin. And uh, 
They're getting plenty of shots in on goal, aren't they? They're good value. Goal conceded, and they are losing at the moment, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Shots on here. Paris Saint-Germain have a corner now, and that will be an opportunity for them maybe to get level. Four extra minutes to play here of added time. Rojo. Well, they're in a good position here. The shot's on! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Here we go with the second half then with Paris Saint-Germain. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Baratti. Player's done well here until it was the direction of the pass, really. Right idea, but couldn't find his man. It's out over the touchline. Well, that looked dangerous until he made the interception. Fellaini. They can't keep it at the moment. It's Carrick who's given it away. Manchester United have won the ball back here. Manchester United putting this attack together well. Yushevic. And he's threaded the pass through neatly. To bring them level. He's kept it out. And as Rodriguez scores. And then they take that superbly. Looking good with attacking play like this and this goal. Well, the defenders just stood rooted to the spot on the edge of the box, and what a poor one to concede. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. So it's 2 2 now. Rojo. Tackle here. Put them in front. They scored now, and the significance is that they're in front. He took it with great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Manchester United are behind. Fellaini. Mata. Into the attacking third. Referee says... Pl and a foul. Whistle goes against Hamas Rodriguez. And the goalkeeper cross to it. That'll be a corner for Manchester United who are trailing. Well we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. It's looking good this move. Pogba. Saw the goal and went for it. 
Well, no complaints here. about the equaliser even the team that have conceded it I think have recognised that they've been on the receiving end of much of this game but they were hoping they could hold on they haven't been able to do that and now they'll be concerned as to whether there'll be another goal in this match and it will see them beaten well he's doubled up here with his second goal and he took it in excellent style just like the first one I think the uh, manager's decided he wants to let the player have a great individual reception, which he wouldn't get at the final whistle. He's uh, getting an ovation now as the substitution is made. Yeah, and well-deserved too. A strong contender for man of the match. Six goals, evenly shared as we start again. James Rodriguez moving forward with some danger to the up. Lucas! So close! to putting the cherry on the icing on the cake. Oh, I can't believe he's missed it. Missed the target, missed a wonderful opportunity there. An example of excellent refereeing here. He delayed this punishment. He's going to show a card now. But he wanted that previous attack to at least find its natural conclusion. Yeah, he is one of our more experienced refs, isn't he? And uh, I like watching him go about his work. Showed his experience. It's Eric Dyer. Read the play well to intercept. Mata! Well, they're trying hard to get in front here. Krichovia makes a challenge here. Attack building for Manchester United. Aim for Ibra Ibrahimovic. It's a goal. Well, he's only been on the pitch a matter of minutes. I'm not sure he's touched the ball before this, but a vital touch there to score. I have to say, Alan, that reminded me of you in your prime. Oh, you're too kind, Martin, but it was. A brilliant header, fantastic finish. Goal conceded, and they are losing at the moment, Paris Saint-Germain. Good challenge. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Paris Saint-Germain given the throw. Lucas. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. Paris Saint-Germain will be facing Borussia Dortmund away from home. Yes. Wonderful chance! A well saved! And that's a corner for Manchester United. And in comes the header. Headed it well, just wide. Well, not far wide at all. Next time, maybe he'll bury that. Krichovia. He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. Fogba. And uh, Herrera. Trying to switch on the... Attacking power in this situation. They cope with it well defensively. Well, we can catch up with the details of that injury from uh, our man Jeff Shrews. Jeff? He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in. But he's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Shots on here. Referee's given a corner. It's 82 minutes played now. And in he goes with the tackle. And here's the shot. He's kept it out. Well, it is a corner. The chance to get the ball into the penalty area. Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. Well, Paris is a place that everyone likes to visit, except the opposing football teams. 
who play Paris Saint-Germain and the supporters know this, that they've got a really good team to back now. Yeah, I think they realise they can play a big part in making this a, a fortress, one where any visiting team will find it hard. Forward now, Ibrahimovic. It's Daly Blind. Very good passes. He's offside, Ibrahimovic. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. seen the board there five minutes of added time yeah a little murmur goes around the crowd because enough time for me to get a equalizer maybe even a winner here Fogba. he's coming forward with some danger real chance goal Ibrahimovic Well, it's just a footnote to the match, really. It confirms the win. Yeah, I think the goal scorer would be pleased. Another one for, for his tally late on the match here. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. We start again, five goals to three. Ben Arfa. Krichowiak. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Atletico Madrid 1, Barcelona 1. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table.
Oh, we've got a great game for you today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We're both really looking forward to describing it for you. And this match features Borussia Dortmund, and they play Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain, they'll be hoping for a better result today after they suffered that home defeat against Manchester United. Yeah, they do. I mean, it's 5-3, and there was plenty wrong in the performance, but I think they can get a draw here. Visiting team here might just be cannon fodder for the home side with that awful defence. Yeah, you would expect a home win, but uh, we've come to expect the unexpected at times. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. In goal, Roman Berkey. Socrates Papastotopoulos starts alongside Mark Bartra in the heart of defence. Julian Weigel plays with Nuri Shaheen in the centre of the park. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Quite a few changes for Paris Saint-Germain. Marc-André Testegen starts in goal. Marquinhos starts with Thiago Silva as the centre-backs. Angel Di Maria starts with Lucas on the flanks. And the main striker is the Argentinian Paolo Dybala. Of course, Borussia Dortmund owe a great deal to Jurgen Klopp, who came in with his energy and his drive and also his managerial skills as well. Yeah, they loved him, didn't they, at this club? And uh, no wonder that yellow wall singing his name it's some sight Lee Mason is today's ref and the ball is rolling to start the first half on to the attack now and they've cut it out Ben Arfa. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. That could be the advantage rule applied to Paris Saint-Germain. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Draxler! He scored! Fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. Well, you're too young to remember, Alan, but they used to have square goalposts and a lot more came out than went in in those days. So, for the attackers, that's a, a bonus of the change in the technology. And in off the post. Yeah, and I think he deserved that, though, because uh, struck it well and right into the corner. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Royce. Now it's Usman Dembele. There's good progress with this attack. Through pass. Made the challenge well. Got to be. Tight margins. He just put too much on it. It's over the bar. Thiago Silva, Javier Pastore, Ben Arfa, attacking now, this could be it, Ben Arfa, very good stop here, corner, He's put it out, it's gone out for a corner. And
And in comes the header. Three draws in a row for the, today's hosts. You can say that's three games unbeaten, but they will feel it's three games without a win. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Julian Weigel. Gone for the through pass. On the cross, blocked well by the defender. Now he's lost the ball. Schiller! But well, he's had a go. Well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say. And uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Julian Draxler. He's coming forward with some danger. And the cross comes in now. Here's a chance to counter-attack from that wasted cross by the opposition. Good challenge here. Mark Batra. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. That's a fine tackle. Well read by the defender. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Shoots! Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. What's the keeper doing here? Opportunity now. Oh, he had a real go. Well, you can't knock him. He was in the right place at the right time. Just couldn't uh, provide the finishing touch. Shahid. And here's the shot. I'm not quite sure how he's managed to miss by so big a margin. Well, I don't know if that took a bubble or whatever, but it was a horrendous miss kick. Ben Arthur. Julian Draxler. Tremendous understanding from these players. They cope with it well defensively. He's read that. Hasney and made the interception, made it look easy actually. And the cross coming in. Aubameyang! The shot's hit the post. On to the attack now. And it's a shot now! Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. For Borussia Dortmund, corner coming up. Possibilities of getting this equaliser. Good through pass. Rice! Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Surely the equaliser. Such a range of goals from Abama Yang. And he loves getting into scoring positions. The equaliser has happened, took perhaps the opposition by surprise, but we're level again, it's what they've deserved. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal.
is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Ben Arfa. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. That's the way to win the ball back. Andre Schürrle. Passing is top class. Very clearly offside. It's an easy decision. Yeah, and it's not as if there was a, a scoring opportunity, really. So you can't explain it away by him being a bit overexcited. Julian Draxler on the attack here. To put them in front. And they've taken the lead here. Well, they just squeezed that goal in before the half-time whistle went. Yeah, might change the manager's half-time team talk a little bit, that now. Let's have another peek at that goal. <laughs> Off we go again, 2-1. The added time will. Be four minutes. Pulisic. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. And they've cut it out. Excellent interception. Well, that is half time, and we've reached it at 2 1. Well, just a couple of minutes to repair the damage before half-time. They haven't been able to do it. So that crucial goal for the away side is the real talking point during the half-time interval. Yeah, and there's a bit of a stunned silence, wasn't that, around this ground when that goal went in. So a bit of work for the home manager to do in the next 15 minutes. Saint-Germain who hold the advantage at this point. Just working away to try and find an opening. Pastore! Well, he scored, and it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. A goal from Pastore, we just feel sorry for the keeper, really. The way he's hit that to his right, he's got no chance of getting a hand on it. Three one the score line as we restart the game. Papasta Topoulos. Dembele. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. 
And here's the cross. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture for Richard Dortmund. They'll be hosting Arsenal. Opportunity now. So close. The post. Obama Yang. So we'll restart with a throw in. Obama Yang. Christian Pulisic. And the pass not completed, really. Substitute is ready, I think, to come on for Dortmund. Paris Saint-Germain, the next game, Alan. Well, they've got Villarreal in the next match. Don't see them having too many problems. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Crosses in. Angel Di Maria. Still got the ball. Still progressing. The referee... Quite happy for Paris Saint-Germain to play on, he's waving them off. In with the chance! The defenders managed to get in the way there. And we should. Can't keep the ball at the moment. On to the attack now. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. And there's the interception. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. There's good progress with this attack. And the cross coming in. Signs that he'd lost his head, actually, and he was going to get sent off, having already been booked. Javier Pastore.
That's Borussia Dortmund. And now the referee says free kick. The substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. He's coming forward with some danger. And that's going to be a goal kick. Really made a breakthrough in Euro 2016, Julian Draxler. Fitted in snugly into Germany's system. Well, the defence knew all about him beforehand, but they really haven't got tight enough. And as a result, he's been working the keeper, and he's got on the score sheet, hasn't he, a few times. Javier Pastore. Bender. Great place to win it back. Julian Draxler. And back it goes to the keeper. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. And there is going to be a substitution now for Borussia Dortmund. Julian Weigel. Doing well to keep the ball. Good position here. Traxler! That's a brilliant goal. And that's the third, the hat-trick. It's a day he'll never forget. Well, Alan, maybe that's the one he'll treasure the most because it's given him the hat-trick. Yep, and uh, he'll be taking home that match ball with a great deal of pride. Four one is the score line. We've got ten minutes left on the clock. Substitute is ready, I think, to come on for Dortmund. Quick check on the shot count. Ten shots, six on target for Paris Saint-Germain. We look at the quality of chances, and yes, they've got about half on target, but I think they actually should have done a bit better than that, you know. Defender to it first. And here's the shot. They're not giving up on it, despite the number of goals they're behind.
Well, they might be bringing him off so he can get the ovation that he deserves after such an exceptional performance. Oh, he was all over the place today. Wonderful to watch. Now the shot! He's reached it and turned it aside. And he's hung on to the ball too. Brilliant goalkeeping. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players. And you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just stunned into silence. Could be dangerous. He's going to try it. Very good stop here. Lucas. A timely challenge. Royce. Three minutes to be added on. Good forward play from them. And in goes the cross. That certainly helps the goalkeeper and those in the middle to stop the cross like that. Angel Di Maria. And the referee says, that's enough. Paris Saint-Germain have won it. They have got the victory in a match that was very close. It could easily have been a defeat. Well, so evenly matched. And the winners, as a result, I think, will gain a great deal of confidence from this. Well, undoubtedly, he was the star man today. Well, he goes across and grabs the match ball from the ref. A hat-trick, and that's to be treasured by any player. Borussia Dortmund 1, Paris Saint-Germain 4. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Manchester United with 13 points. In second, Chelsea with 11 points. In third, Manchester City with 10 points. In fourth, Villarreal with 9 points. In fifth, Juventus with 9 points. In sixth, Arsenal with 9 points. In 7th, Paris Saint-Germain with 8 points. 